In this video, I'd like to touch on a couple things that can be difficult when working with signed versus unsigned integers, and something that you're going to want to keep in mind when you're writing code. So here in this program, I've defined an integer a, and I've assigned the value negative 1 to that, and an unsigned int b, which I've assigned the value 1. And I'm going to print both of these out using first a signed control sequence, and then an unsigned control sequence, just so we can see what happens. So you can see, when I print them signed, I get what I would expect. But unsigned, I get this really large number for negative 1, and again, that's because that's what negative 1, the bit pattern for negative 1 as a signed integer is as an unsigned, when you throw away the sign bit, or when you include the sign bit in the actual number. So let's do some comparisons. is unsigned, so if let's print that correctly. And we'll say which one is less than the other, or uh, actually in that case we'll say it's not less than. The downside to copy and paste is sometimes if you have a mistake, you've got to correct it more than one place. So I think that's good. And then let's reverse this. In fact, I'll just copy the whole thing and swap everything. So if B is less than A, and we'll say is not less. So let's run our program. And we see that negative one is not less than one, and this huge number is less than one. Okay, so first off, in this one we have these backwards. So first off, let's focus on this one before we correct it. So a is negative 1, b is 1, and this says negative 1 is not less than b. Now that should surprise you, because negative 1 is less than b. So the question is, do we have a bug in our code? Well, if a is less than b, print a is less than b. So do we have a bug in our code? Well, the answer is, our code is working as it's designed. When we do this comparison, we're doing an unsigned comparison. A unsigned is not negative 1, it's this large value here. So this comparison doesn't work the way we would expect. In this case, B is less than A, 1 is less than negative 1. Again, we're doing an unsigned comparison. When we treat A as unsigned, it's very large. So it's not negative 1, it's this large unsigned value here. So the point of this video is hopefully that you see you have to be careful when you're mixing signed and unsigned, and if you're doing comparisons, they're not always going to work the way you want. So it's important to make sure that if you're working with unsigned integers, you work with unsigned integers, and you compare them with other unsigned integers.